we are announcing our candidates uh, this afternoon. We will make known our um, the constituencies uh, where they will be fielded on nomination day. Uh, suffice it to say that we will be contesting in the uh, Holland Bukit Tima GRC in Yuhua SMC at Bukit Panjang SMC and Sembawang GRC. Let, let, let me uh, take you back a little bit into the uh, elections book, uh, in 2006. The only difference, if you are able to, to track between these two periods, uh, the lead up to 06 elections and now, the only difference you will find is that there is this explosion of new media tools. And we have been able to use them effectively to um, reach out and tell the truth about our party, what we stand for. Because a lot of the folks that you see up here on this table uh, have been reading our website. And as a result, they, ca they could see for themselves what we are about, number one. Uh, what we did with the organization of the party and how disciplined we were. And that was how that, that this whole three C's came about. Because they could see that we were competent. Right? They could see that we were coming up with alternative ideas. We were being constructive. And those ideas that were not just advocating things that we wanted to do for ourselves. It was always for the people. And for that matter, it was for the people who were always the, 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 the disenfranchised. So they could see the compassion there as well. And that has brought us all together. That has, has attracted um, folks like um, John and, and, and James, Vincent, Michelle of late, Jared, Teo Solong, and, and a few more that you'll see tomorrow. Of course you would. Of course you would uh, 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 say that, that uh, you know, this, this SDP's approach is, is negative and so on. Simply for the simple reason that we've repeated our invitation to him to come and debate. If our approach is as bad as he describes, this an, an open debate would be the best opportunity for him to demolish and show to the entire Singaporean once and for all, SDP is no good, right? So, simple, okay? Vivian Balakrishnan, all right? And who's on his team? Uh, Mr. D'Souza and whoever else is going to be on it. We invite him, sit down with Vincent Vigisinger, James Gomez, Michelle, John, anyone, right? And let the people see for themselves. Why is he afraid? I'm going to repeat what uh, uh, James Gomez said a little while ago, right? The invitation is an open one. Anytime he feels so inclined, drop us a note and we'll have a public open debate. We will be uh, uh, announcing uh, launching our manifesto. Now, I just want to, to clarify. This manifesto that you see has been very much focused on the economy, and that's why this is the alternative, alternative economic uh, uh, program that we want for Singapore. What we're going to be doing in very shortly is also to announce our alternative policies for uh, areas that are not economic in nature. For example, national service, uh, um, the, the, for education, uh, the environment, uh, the disabled community, so on and so forth. We will be coming up with, with a uh, launching the manifesto, but that will be done online, and we'll, we'll be putting out uh, 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 notice of that, and, and you, we will be alerting you to it. Uh, uh, very soon, very soon. I, I ex in, in, you're talking about days right now, simply because the um, nomination is this, this next week. Right. Well, I, I don't need to sort of understand ordinary Singaporeans as if I'm not one of them. I am an ordinary Singaporean. I, I face the same struggles of rising costs. I face the same difficulties of um, waiting time in hospitals. I face the same difficulties of having to defer buying a flat because the prices are exorbitant. I face the same difficulties of not having my MP represent my interests in Parliament. I face the same difficulties of vast amounts of money being squandered and no one telling me why they have squandered it and how they plan to... Uh, do it differently. Um, I think the issue of understanding what's going on on the ground is not an issue. It's not an issue of you see. If you take that argument to its logical conclusion, 
that if you spend some time away, therefore it depletes your ability. That means nobody should sleep either, because that's taking eight hours of experience. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> this is an argument, yet again another illogical argument put across by the PAP, to kind of argue that just because you're not here for some of the time, therefore you are unable. I mean, we're human beings. We have the same sorts of needs. We understand what's going on. We keep in touch with um, the issues that are going on in Singapore. We have family and friends here. And, you know, this whole sort of arrangement of information that we get um, uh, develops in us the, the, the ability to uh, uh, understand, appreciate, and, and, and therefore remedy.